Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another look at Northern Lights. We had covered this uh, when it came, first came out on Early Access, did a couple of videos. Wasn't terrible. It's not great either. Uh, be honest, it is Early Access. Uh, there's a lot of uh, some interesting stuff. The character was kind of interesting because it was uh, set in Siberia. Uh, quirky little Russian guy. Uh, had nice, interesting loot spots. The loot was pretty generic. Looked like a Unity asset. Not a lot going on in the world either. Uh, but they just had a spring update. A uh, new world, new design, new loot, etc., etc., they say. I did have to tone it down a little bit in the settings. Because it seems like it wasn't as optimized as it was last time. But still looking uh, very pretty. Well, let's hop into new game. Uh, they do have a uh, coming soon still. So that is not in yet. But Alright. We've got... Three different. We got survivor, resourceful, or just wanderer. I'll just go middle ground. All right, let's pop into it. I do remember the map quite a bit as well. So, but they did say new world, so we'll have to see. Uh, maybe they changed it up a little bit. Not difficult to survive in. It was just uh, didn't feel like there was a lot to do. Currently, I think it is like 25% off. Only about 15 bucks. And I would say like 10 to 15 bucks would be fair for this one. It is. I've seen much worse games on Steam Early Access charge way more. So, I mean, I, I can tell the love is being put in there by some of the stuff, but it does need a bit more work. September 13th, Northern Siberia. Abnormal weather conditions damage the homeland's communication line with a secret facility. I went on a mission to investigate what happened. Upon reaching the island, we got hit by a massive blizzard. And they have... So I do believe the intro is exactly the same. And then... And then... Oh, there we go. I need to find a shelter. There's a cave nearby. Maybe I should check it out. I'm really not sure how you saw a cave in 400 meters away, but I'll go with you, man. All right, so so far it is uh, looking pretty much the same, but uh, this is just the starting intro. Pretty generous, and all of the meters were, I felt, fairly balanced. So if you didn't crank up the difficulty, I'm sure you would be hunting for food and everything a little bit more. And the UI is... It is not strict uh, you, like you pulled from the Unity Asset Store or anything. It's a little bit modified. Could use, I think, a new color paint, though. It's, it's nothing that... It does feel still a little bit generic. Actually, you do have more stamina. I mean, yeah. I'm used to the Long Darks with Mackenzie already being out of breath, so it's... Grab. Yes. I might need that. And now we have stones. Oh, they're this way. Now, is this the top of the cave or. Oh, we'll go back that way. That's a little safer. Maybe they saw it on the chopper on the way down or something. I'm actually about out of stamina there. This was nowhere near... You must have seen it with the chopper coming down, otherwise... Right? Crazy jumping skills there. 
maybe this is the cave. Oh, nice. Let's actually pull up. Now this uh, inventory and everything else, it's not bad. It is not bad. It's got the nice balance of meters. It's, I think it's fairly decent. Uh, okay, so we did actually come up with quite a bit of stuff. The blueprint still, let's see. The sharp rocks, I think that's just stone. Let's craft. A little bit of time passes by. Very nice. I can make a few things. Oh, yeah, she does so awful so the skill system as well. Which is nothing really exciting. Just the more mapping you do, the more cooking you do, the more fire starting. Oh, yeah, it goes up. Basic, but it gets the job done. Oh, no, he, he's quite dead. Oh, hey! All right, helicopter key. I don't think that's gonna help us out. We do have a map though. Oh, so that's a, I feel like this is a slightly new map. I feel like the other one was more well drawn, I guess. Okay, so we got something going over there. Carjuno. And obviously he is not alive. on. Sadly, I also don't think it has contextual UI. Uh, kind of like the long dark does. You can't just pull it up on the fly and then it disappears when you want. Not a deal breaker, but ah, it does ruin the immersion a little bit. Oh, we are here. Doesn't feel too bad. Do I have binocular? I will equip that in the tool number one slot. And, oh, you see a thing. Can I see anything else though? It's kind of got a weird sort of Low zoom in by itself. And I don't know if I can put that. Okay, we can put it away. Alright, so let's head down. Eater is not even a bit of trouble, really. And I also do feel like this one needs a little bit. On the background audio, it just, you know, like Long Dark has its music stingers, etc. This is just, uh, the noise is kind of just make me want to run a uh, Netflix show while I'm doing it. And I have for sticks as well. Some things you can harvest, some things you cannot. I feel like that's what the stick. The problem is, I gotta say, I don't feel like it's changed that much. Wish me some sticks, thank you. Oh, a couple more sticks. In the game, you know me and sticks? I'll take it. It sort of looks like we got a uh, research station. We've reached the research camp. Oh, we actually got quite a few nice things. And that is a thing to take, but apparently also not. 
time. Of course it's broken. Hours out. And I don't think you're really too cold yet, so it's not that bad, really. The supplies-wise, it is just so much. Like, I feel like more than you would ever need. And a short journal. And I just don't know what you're going to do with all this stuff. Inventory wise, we do have to have a carrying weight. I don't remember what the limit is, though. I think the current well, we still could actually get quite a bit more. Right, what's your other stats as well? Yeah, you. You gotta think, okay, so the map is kind of the same again. Alright. Paper stacks for the notebooks, too. I, I do believe that's what I was trying to do. But let's try again. I remember seeing in the papers, they were mentioning a place called Mysterious Woods. Hmm. I wonder. You believe your name's Peter? Yeah, Peter, I'm wondering the same indeed. Go ahead to the mysterious woods. Our stats are pretty good, so. I say we go for it. Could actually do some crafting real quick, too. I do need to get some more reclaimed wood, though. I do need more cloth. All right. Gonna make some bandages just in case. Nah, nah, we're gonna YOLO it. It's gonna be perfect. I think maybe head to that weather station first. And then from that, we could hit the mysterious woods. I'm thinking that maybe this one, the story might be enough to give you some playtime. But just straight up sandbox. Even if they had co op working, I would get bored uh, fairly quickly. There's one thing you can point out. I think I haven't seen an animal maybe once or twice in this game. There is not a lot. So it's a lot of, well, arguably beautiful open spaces here. There's just nothing to do. I mean, I don't always have to murder everything, but I would like to at least see something. All right, we got an egg. Oh, nice. a nice meal out of that. Fry up some eggs would be lovely. Oh, holy wow. Alright, I did not expect that. Do I have anything I could murder you with? And that's a weird thing to think about right away, but I could make a knife. We could do it. All right, let's do this. Nah. I am Mighty Hunter. What am I gonna do with that much? Harvest? Butchering. I've got a good amount of murder on. Uh, 
Oh, he's cold. Peter is cold. How close are we to that weather station? I think we'll hit it on the way if not hit the weather station itself. I put that. Holster? No. Doesn't want to seem to not put that item away. I think with a full deer carcass, we probably are a little bit encumbered. I would imagine. Yeah, you are. Okay, well. get you some drink some of that yeah just a little bit of hydration consume just get those for inner clothing so okay that's not bad Got some climbing boots. Well, got a leather jacket versus 2.5, 1.0. I'm gonna drop some of this stuff. I think I have to unclip it first or equip this. Okay, there we go. And we'll drop that leather jacket as well. I think we're still gonna be oh, about at 100%, so I think I can still run now. No, I can't. Uh, all right, we'll maybe eat something just so we get enough. I'll put on that scarf too. Are we not still? Okay, uh... The boost 1.5 versus... Yeah, so we can drop that as well. A lot of loot just kind of piling the place up, really. Probably okay. 97%. Okay, I think it's because we've got that. I guess I would have to unequip it. Maybe there's a hot key for that I just don't know about. No, I still can't run. Or if I am, it just doesn't feel like it. I think I am. We are running, but I just it's just so slow. Maybe because of the weather. It doesn't really feel like it. And plus, he's carrying a small fridge on his back at this point, so. Ooh, we are starting to get a little cold as well, so ooh. How close are we to our weather station? Oh, close, but, man, I don't know. So I don't really think a fire would work out here. We're gonna have to see what we can do. Oh, is that a building though? Oh, we might be saved. Oh, that's incredibly lucky, all right. There's a way inside maybe, oh yeah, door. Still cold in here. That's all stuff I would probably. I'm not gonna take those. We'll take that. And Botic sure. Okay, I suppose. Peanut butter. 
Another reclaimed wood, we'll take that as well. The game is just kind of throwing loot at you, you really don't even need. Yeah, it's good to see about getting a fire going. We'll use our letter. We got some newsprint, that'll work. We'll give it a try. Yeah, we'll use the firewood. Alright, warm up though. Very nice. I don't know. That looks a little wrong to me. I don't know. About almost 10 at night as well. Looks like his stomach's pretty good. Mm, that's going to do the trick. Okay, so let's get my cooked egg. Is not a whole lot, but we'll take it. All right, we'll grab that. Let's see, we'll get about. A, we'll sleep a little while. Only about nine hours. Well, I think you can only sleep. Oh, no, actually, we did. You're still cold, though. Get some lime soil. Nice. All right. And then we keep on keeping on. But honestly, in my opinion, I don't see any changes as far as I... I remember it was pretty good regarding this game when it came out. It was a little disheartening. I had to adjust my graphics a little bit. Uh, because even in the front menu, the frame rate was not spectacular. Wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. Uh, it could be always one little setting, but I just did turn on the graphics just a smidge. We've got a pretty beefy PC, so that is a little disheartening to see. Are you not running again, Peter? This guy. Oh, because we're... I swear I'm not picking stuff up. Go get a whole thing of peanut butter. At the very least, it's going to make me feel better. Yeah, I did see a deer, but that was weird that we just killed it like it was nothing. Yes, walk up to a deer and punch it to death. That's not a good sign. Uh, survival games with it's got a lot, it's got a big map, but nothing really in it still. Uh, and I think it's got mostly positive reviews, but there's only like 80. 
That is a bit. I think I saw something in the. Could be my imagination uh, top left over here. I mean, is this sent Siberia, but man, I think even Siberia's got a little bit more going on for it. See our own body as well? No, we can see our hand though. More jumping. Just followed the little bit of a road here as well. And okay, so we found the mysterious woods, and now we see the other station that we already already see already saw on our map. All right. Is there anything else I can drop? Just got so much. Uh, maybe we need that. Uh... Could shred him. Not 100 percent sure what we need. Wait, do we need two kid tin cans? Well, I will just go with it. I've got. I have seen more animals than I did the last time I played this, but it's been three deer, and that's. The most exciting case okay, so we do at the weather station. And during the video, I did kind of have to double check to make sure we already had the update installed, but yeah, it auto installed the update. It's. Alright, actually, I did look a little bit more into the patch notes just because I wanted to see. Uh, as we did notice, that road was new. Uh, they've got some roads. Uh, See, so my folly might find some civilization, some signs. Uh, they did better stuff for uh, caves. They kind of redid the caves a little bit. A little bit of the uh, immersion music in the caves as well, but I'm not not really a big couple bug fixes. Let's just get in here first. Alright, so it is locked. We gotta figure our way around. Oh, I can almost get out. Another one. Look. Looks we actually got two locked. Both of them have been painted a key. Probably, if I remember right, there's a key in one of these locations. Check the sheds real quick. Frying pan or I guess I will take a fry pan. Uh, we'll take that. Maybe yeah, just more food than I would ever need. I said two doors we tried. I don't know if I I did try that one, so did I knew Oh, I did actually ha ha. I still can't get it. I managed to leap my way up. 
Yes. That does not go through. All right. Uh. That door's still locked, though, so I don't know. Products. And we just stuff stuff with the ice box. Maybe we should. Yeah, we're gonna put the venison. That might actually keep that longer. And I can sprint now. Also, I'm a little cold. Not sure if I grab these ones though. Only I can knock you down. All right, we'll search these two buildings as well. That one is completely empty. Oh, we probably have a dead guy with a key. Got a frozen key. All right. It's a little cold. Somehow, according to the temperature thing, it's colder in here. Got a little bit of stuff. I can just get a a little bit warmer here. Oh no, still freezing, so health at half. Uh, but, alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I might leave off here, because uh, this new update, not very exciting. Not a whole ton lot going on. Not bringing update in the game. Looks like I've got some roads you can follow. But they redid the cave system a little bit. But generally, it's more of the same. I mean, you could crank it up to, like, the survivor. Maybe see if that's more in your wheelhouse. But generally, it's uh, very kind of generic and uninspiring, sadly. Like, I like the main character. I just I think the world needs a little bit more. Uh, not so much the Unity stock assets. It's uh, yeah, a little bit of a buzzkill there. But keep an eye on it. It is 25% off right now, so it's only about 15 bucks. Uh, so if you do want to give it a try. Remember, there's always a Steam refund option after two hours. You can try that as well. I think you will know within about half an hour if you're going to like this game or not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.